Alright, so we're actually going to start with books that aren't on my bookshelf and that's because I'm reading them at the moment and I don't like to have books that I'm currently reading or haven't read on my bookshelf. So I've got The City of Ashes, which is the second in the City of Bones series, matched. Um, I won't say anything about them because like, I haven't really read them yet, so I don't know. World War Z, um, Hunger, uh, what's that one called again? Undead and Hidden, the newest um, House of Night book. And then up here are books that I have read and they're like very special books to me. So I sort of put them up here as like a shrine. Um, the first two, well, is Divergent by Veronica Roth. This book's going to be made into a film. Um, it's going to be like the new sort of Hunger Games thing. It's a dystopian book. Um, I'll show you. Like, and basically you sort of have to go into factions and this girl sort of goes into one that people generally wouldn't approve of and that sort of thing. I highly recommend it. It's an incredible book. It's really long. Um, hold on. As you can see. But um, it's well worth it and I read it really fast as well. And then on top I have the second one, Insurgent. It's not quite as good but it's still amazing um, and not quite as long as well which definitely helps. Um, and the third one's coming out soon as well so I really recommend those. Then the next I have the, the Hunger Games series. Um, I mean I think everyone knows about the Hunger Games. I'm not going to go into too much detail but it's my absolute favourite book series. First favourite, second favourite, third favourite in that order. And I just, if you haven't read them, seriously, they're so good. I really hate it when people are like, oh, it's just like Twilight. It's like, there's literally not a single thing in it that's like Twilight, apart from there's a love triangle. And then, next one, I have my series of The, the Maze Runner by James Dashner. Really good. It's maybe a bit more male-oriented, these books, but they're so good about this guy, and he doesn't really know anything, and he ends up in this weird place, and... So if, as you go through the book, like at the start of the maze running, you literally know nothing, absolutely nothing, and it's so infuriating because all these people are talking about stuff and you have no idea what they're talking about, but as you go through the books you know more and it's just crazy. So really it's kind of like you'd want to read it backwards really. It's really clever. Okay, so on to the bookshelf. Um, the first book series I have here are by Enid Blyton and they're the Mallory Tower series. They're aimed for like eight year olds, they're so easy to read, they're absolutely tiny. I've got the whole series here, um, and they're just really easy to read, and I like to read them like when I'm ill. Um, I like to read, so they're really good, because they're so easy, and they're really short, and you don't really have to think about what you're reading. The next one is Hippo Eats Dwarf and Other Urban Myths by Alex Boise, I want to say, and this is just urban myths and, myths and stuff like that. Um, I love conspiracy theories, that sort of thing, um, yeah, so that was really fun to read. Um, I've got Harry Potter up there. Then I've got the Morganville Vampire series. There's like eight in the series and I've got the first three, Glass Houses, The Dead Girls Dance and Midnight Alley. They're by Rachel Kane. if I haven't said that already. This is a really good series. It's about a town run by vampires and it's quite creepy and it's really, really good. I wanted a good vampire series to read. Um, so yeah, I would recommend them. I have to say the quality of the writing isn't amazing but they're good books. Um, next I've got the House of Night series now. I have a love-hate relationship with them. I'm missing one here, but I have read it. I just borrowed it from someone. Um, there's Mark Betrayed, Chosen, Untamed, Hunted, Tempted, Burned, something in between there, I think, Destined, and then the one that you saw that I'm reading at the moment. Um, and they're by PC and Kristen Cast. And the first, like, two, three are amazing. Really, really good. They're about, um, it's like Harry Potter mixed with vampires, but mixed with Twilight, basically. Um, they should have ended the series here so good. This one, god they're just trying to get money. It's so annoying but I spent so much time and money in the series that like I feel I need to continue. But they're really boring and the story is useless now. You can see they're just trying to sort of string it along as much as possible. Would not recommend to a friend. Okay the next one is by Stephen Chabowski I want to say and it's The Perks Being a Wallflower. I got it because I saw the film and I really liked it and so I wanted to get the book and it's really really good. I think I actually preferred the film though but yeah, I would recommend that one. Um, I know I'm really obnoxious, I hate it when people are like, oh, I'm such a big fan of the film, and then they're like, have you read the book? No. Um, <laughs> then I have um, City of Bones, which is the first in the Mortal Instruments series, and it's by Cassandra Clare. Um, this is also being made into a film, it's sort of nearing complete, in fact, the advert's out, so I think it's done. Um, 
And so I read the book because I wanted to see the film, but I was like, okay, I'll read the book first, see what all the fuss is about. It's such a good book. I absolutely love it. It's a really clever series. I read it really fast. Um, I would recommend that one to a friend. And as you can see, I'm reading the second one at the moment. Then I have two books by Chris Colfer from Glee. Like, I love him so much. Um, so anything he makes, I'm going to get. So the first one is Struck by Lightning, the Carson Phillips Journal. And this is a book version of the film. It was a film first. Really recommend it. And this is more information than the film as well. So that was really good. And then The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell is the first in the Land of Stories series. The second one's coming out soon. Um, it's so freaking long and it's maybe aimed towards slightly younger children but it's a really really good book and it's nice because obviously I'm a bit older so I hadn't read any fairy tales and stuff in a while and it was really really great to read. Um, the next one is The Kill Order by James Dashner. This is actually a prequel to the Maze Runner series but obviously it came out afterwards and it, I really recommend this if you like the series because it has a heap load more of information and it explains so freaking much and you're just like oh you just want to read the series again because you sort of understand it. Okay this is by Sarah Crossan and it's Breathe and it's about a sort of society where they're sort of running out they basically got no oxygen so they live in this bubble as you can see but then there's like conspiracy theory about the fact that there is air outside and stuff like that really good book um it gets better towards the end but it's really good okay the next two are by andrew fukuda i want to say the first one's the hunt and it's about this guy this human who's living in amongst vampires and it's so scary like he has to pass off as a vampire it's a terrifying book series, like really, like proper, like petrified scary. It was scary. And then Prey is the second one. There's a third one coming out soon. Prey was really good. The Hunt was much better though. Then there's Gone by Michael Grant. I feel like a lot of people have heard of this series. Um, they're so long. Um, it's really good though. It's about when like everyone under the age, I mean over the age of 16 I think, just disappears. And it's really interesting and it covers everything. You know like fires because they were cooking at the time and stuff like that. It's just a really, really clever series. Then we've got The Other Boleyn Girl by Philippa Gregory. Um, she writes a lot of historical fiction. I've read another one of hers but I didn't like it. Um, but this one was really interesting, you know, it's about like Henry VIII and his wives and stuff like that. Really good book and obviously it's made into a film with Natalie Portman in it. Okay, I'm running out of breath. Okay. This series is by Amanda Hawking and the first one's called Switch, then Torn, then Ascend. And it's about this girl who finds out that she's um, actually a troll and she's like princess troll basically. It's kind of like Princess Diaries but it's a bit darker than that. Um, really good series and they've got really pretty covers as well which is always a plus on the way down then we have The Shining by Stephen King one of my all time favourite books took me like a year to read though because I mean it's really long and on top of that the writing's really small um, oh no I can't get it back in um, it's a really scary book scariest book I've ever read I was proper terrified I've never even been so scared at a film as I was by this book so clever and obviously I'm wearing the t-shirt to do with it now. I love the film too. Then we have I Am Number 4 by Pitticus Lore. This was uh, made into a film with Alex Pettifer and Diane Agron and it's basically about this sort of guy who's an alien. He comes down to earth to protect himself and he is number four and the aliens can only kill them in order and they've killed one, two, and three. So that's it. And then this is the sequel, The Power of Six. Not quite as great, it was okay though. I'm um, just sort of developing the story. Okay, then these two are by Hilary Mackay. They're two of a series, but I don't have the other ones. This one's called Permanent Rose, this one's Caddy Ever After, and it's about this sort of family. It's quite a funny series. Again, it's aimed for younger <laughs> readers. Um, it's super easy to read, super short, but again, they're really fun to read when you're not feeling well and stuff like that. Because um, they're so funny and they're just short. Okay, next, dun dun dun, I have Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. Twilight, New Moon, Breaking Dawn, I've read Eclipse but I don't have it because I borrowed it from someone. Breaking Dawn's my favourite. I do like the book series. Um, the movies were okay, but I really like the books and I hate it when people knock the books so much, like even if you haven't read it, like the films and books are very different things, so I like them. Okay, then we have, um, these are by Jackson Pierce and they're fairy tale retelling. So Sisters Red is Red Riding Hood. And Sweetly is Hansel and Gretel. And I read Sweetly first, but Sisters Red is the first in the series. 
Um, I didn't really enjoy Sisters Red that much, actually. It was okay. It was a good read, but compared to Sweetly, like, it was nothing. Sweetly is amazing. It's so clever. Like, every aspect of the story's in there, but it's, like, told more modern stuff, and it's just crazy, crazy, crazy good. And the reason why these two are sort of, like, in a series is because they have, like, the same villain, sort of, which is the wolves. Okay, then we have Pretty to Liars by Sarah, Sarah I want to say, Shepherd. Um, love the TV program. I did this in a favourites video, I think. Um, and just a really great book, and it sort of goes into more detail than the program. Then there's Unwind by Neil Schus Schusterman. Um, great book, really scary. It's about sort of if you don't want your child, then when they grow up to a certain age, they like they become nothing because every single body part and cell is used to sort of help someone else, like someone who needs a kidney transplant or something like that, That's someone that people want to be alive. It's terrifying. The first two thirds, I'd say, were okay. I was actually going to stop reading it because I am i can't read a book unless I love it. Um, but the last third was just insane. It was really, really, really clever. It's, I think it's sort of got some sort of concentration camp narration going in and it's just it's unbelievable, I can't even explain it. Okay, then we have Lingo, which I think is the second in the sort of Wolves of Mercy Falls series. Um, a lot of people have heard about this. It's by Maggie Stiffwater. There you go. Um, really, really, really great series about werewolves. They're really great for winter because that's when they're sort of set in this really snowy town. Just great atmosphere and stuff and just really good books. Then we have The Wave by Todd Strasser. I saw the film in school and I found it really interesting. It's based on a real event when a teacher sort of recreate, sort of created his own Nazi scheme, but obviously they were sort of nicer, but it's to show that it could happen, another sort of Nazi, Nazi regime, but it kind of got out of hand and this is the book about it. Really good. I love history and I love psychology, so the combination of the two, win-win, and it's really short as well. And here I just have some sort of not really fiction books. I've got the Glee um, High School Yearbook. Great, if you like Glee, highly recommend it. The Hunger Games Movie Companion. I got this before the film and I was so excited. I like read it like 50 times. Then I've got Spanish for Dummies because I was trying to teach myself Spanish for a while. And Bill Bryson's Short History of Nearly Everything. Great toilet book, really good. And A Little of Jesus. Um, so that's all my books. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please post a video response or a comment telling me some of your favourite books. Bye!